Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. Oh my god, man, stop your whining. I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <coughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? I could not let such a dangerous man become immortal. Not from my blood, not for you. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! <laughs> 